put down that indicator. We have a five axis part here on a pyramid fixture in three different locations. We're going to set up with no indicator. Let's see how we're going to do that. So we have three steps. The first step is we're going to go to measure workpiece and we're going to find this button called a line plane. This is going to give us the ability to take three points and make that surface normal to the spindle. The next is we're going to use line edge to make sure that when we do that, that our coordinate system matches the kinematics of the machine. And then lastly is we're going to do our XYZ set to set the center point of our block. So let's go to a software called My Virtual Machine where we are going to do that. So here's my five axis machine, my fixture, and all I did is I called the probe in and I put it over my, my, my workpiece so that I can start to probe the line plane. So I'm going to get rid of some covers so we can kind of see what we're doing here. So I get rid of some covers. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here and I'm going to go to my work offset first. And the first thing is I'm going to make sure there, oh, I see some values in here. I'm going to clear all the values in my work offset, G54. Then I'm going to go to machine, measure workpiece, and I'm going to pick my icon align plane. Once I find align plane, I'm going to, I have to hit three points. So I'm just going to follow what I see here in the animation. I'm going to hit cycle start, take my first point. Nice. I'm going to move over an X. Take my second point. Really good. I'm going to look at here now and I'm going to move down in Y. Move down in Z. And I'm going to take my third and final point. Good. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit this button called Set Work Offset. Beautiful. Right? Right? And so now I can go to my swivel cycle, which is cycle 800 and jog, and set it 000, which is going to make the Z retract and set this surface normal to that surface, right? So that is what I'm going to do. So now. When I jog, here's the tricky part. So if I start to jog now, and I say X, and I jog, as you notice, it's actually moving Y. We have a button now. If we wanted to move that, we use this WCS MCS. If I hit this and choose X now, I'll actually be jogging X, right? This is now jogging the real X. When I turn this off, this is the work coordinate system now. And if I pick X now, I'm actually jogging Y. So I'm 90 degrees out. So how do I fix that? I use that button called my two point alignment. So I say measure workpiece, two point alignment, right? So now I'm going to position myself in front of that machine, in, in front of my part, and hit two points on my part to give me that rotation in my coordinate system to be exactly the same as the machine. So once I get that, come down in Z a little bit. Nice. Move over in X down in Z a little bit more. Okay, now make sure that we are in close enough to hit our part. Say Y just a little bit. There we go. Now I go to <clears throat> my coordinate system and I see that I have a 90 degree shift in my coordinate system. So when I do that and I go back and I and I hit X, X will be X, Y will be Y, and my coordinate system will be in the right direction. So now if I hit cycle start here, Boom, takes the first point, right? Now I want to move over in X. I hit cycle start. So I take my next one and boom, I hit that. And now if I come up 
and I start to move x, right? x now is x, y is y. So that makes life a lot easier. So now I can come over my part and do my three point alignment for x, y, and z, right? So I'm gonna get my z right over the part and my x is a little bit over somewhere in the middle and I'm gonna go back to measure workpiece do edge first z say zero here cycle start that now I have my z set And now roughly I want to get in the center of the part, right? And now I take my four points on the edge of it. So go back and do four points. This is a three by three. I'm in metric. So now if I hit cycle start on this, I'm going to come down and set all four points on the outside to set the center of this block. And now I know where G54 is. So I see 0, 0, 0. If I rotate down, I'm in the center of the block. I set that and I follow and repeat that process for all three locations. I set up each block without an indicator, just using my probe, and now I can hit cycle start. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it.